Keep Me Breathing was set up because there is no cure for children like Casper. They have their entire life ahead of them where they will never ever sleep alone and never ever sleep on anything except using artificial ventilation. They can effectively asphyxiate at any time during the day if they even concentrate too hard on something, get upset, get hurt, or as I say, fall asleep and take a nap. CCHS is lifelong and life-threatening. The most important and the most immediately life-threatening of these complications is the underbreathing, the hypoventilation. A conversation really stands out to me where we had with the doctor. She did very much a couple of weeks into his life sit us down and say that they had no idea what milestones he was ever going to hit. <laughs> and yeah, that's... <laughs> I think it's exciting to be part of something which is a research charity foundation because we know for children like Casper um, that actually we don't have the time of 10 to 20 years to wait for something to come along. We need to develop it sooner. The technology is there to allow children with CCHS to have a more independent life and live a life free of this condition. However, the investment is not. We're actively contributing and developing two major research projects. The first is creating a fully-fledged internal diaphragm pacer. The other part of that is genomic testing with CCHS models and mouse models in the coming 12 months. I think we're at a place where the known science of CCHS is meeting the world of innovation and the drive of very motivated individuals in trying to make the world a better place. So if you're a patient or a family member or you're a clinician or a technologist and you think you've got something to offer this cause, Please join us.